So I graduated in uh, medicine and surgery uh, from Monash University uh, back in uh, 1989. Uh, worked for approximately eight years in clinical practice. Uh, then uh, joined the pharmaceutical industry because I feel that I can make a more positive impact on patient outcomes by working more at a public health level uh, than at the day-to-day patient interaction level. So um, I really love the fact that I'm able to hopefully help many more patients than I could have than working at a clinical basis, uh, but working with clinicians at the same time, ensuring better, better health outcomes for patients. The development of new medicines has gone through uh, huge change in the last 20 years uh, and the change all centres around the involvement of the patient and of patient groups uh, in the development of new medicines. The What I'll bring to race is a true patient focus uh, in as we develop RC220. So I think from working internationally uh, and working with some of the global leaders in clinical development and some global, globally leading physicians, um, as the patient becomes closer and closer to the centre of clinical development, that's influenced the way we interact, the way we write protocols, the data we produce from these clinical trials uh, to ensure that the whole ecosystem of individuals who are involved with the treatment of, in this case, cancer, uh, are fully informed to make the best decision they possibly can uh, for the patient. My core responsibility is to bring insights from outside the company into race to influence what we do in every area of the company. Uh, and at the moment, that's focused on the development and execution of our clinical trials. So for example, uh, we'll be engaging patient advocacy groups to understand what data they need um, to see and to help them understand and make decisions around their treatment. We'll be consulting with physicians and physician groups to ensure that we produce the data that they need to help them with their clinical practice and the decisions that they make on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, we'll be consulting with regulatory groups to ensure that we satisfy all the needs of the regulatory hurdles. We'll be talking with payer groups to ensure that uh, new medicines have the data that would satisfy groups such as the PBAC in Australia to ensure that medicines have the data to get onto the PBS and therefore we have broad access to medicines when they're needed uh, for patients. So really it's a, the role of medical is external facing um, and then internal facing where I help teams integrate those insights into things such as regulatory dossiers, clinical trial design, um, and in fact the strategic discussion, discussions as to how we're going to allocate resources in the coming one, two and five years. So throughout the last 20 plus years, I've worked on a number of medicines which are in the final phases of development. And uh, I've joined RACE to help the team and to help uh, the external environment understand and develop RC220. Um, what the, our priority is to help patients who are undergoing cancer therapy and um, they're undergoing cancer therapy with a particular chemotherapeutic agent called doxorubicin. Doxorubicin has excellent efficacy in slowing down and, and sometimes preventing the, uh, the cancer growth, but it also has some significant side effects. One of those side effects is that it damages the cardiovascular system. What we have seen in preclinical studies is that when we add RC220 to uh, doxorubicin in patients who are taking dox to treat their cancer, uh, what we've seen in the preclinical models is that there is far less damage to the cardiovascular system. So that may well 
uh, allow patients to either continue on their docs longer um, or it may well and it may well give them a far superior quality of life and and indeed extend their life so that is our that is our first priority uh, at race oncology so my immediate focus is to work with the team who are working on our protocol which is now active um, RAC010, which is the clinical trial of exploring whether RC220 can protect the cardiovascular system of patients with uh, cancer, solid tumours who are taking doxorubicin. Uh, I'll be working with them, with patients, with physicians, and of course with the race team to ensure that the patients fruiting to the study and as the data comes in throughout the study we'll be examining the data to ensure that patients remaining safe and are if indeed are gaining the benefit that we think they will throughout the study so it's a matter of day-to-day -day working with the sites who are running the study and analyzing the data Race is working at the heart of cancer care um, and by that we mean more than one thing. Uh, we mean that we're protecting or intend to demonstrate data that protects um, patients' cardiovascular system uh, in patients who are being treated with doxorubicin. Uh, the other way we're working at the heart of cancer care is to working with uh, other clinicians um, on other hypotheses or other questions that could be uh, answered or addressed by RC220. Uh, RC220 has a number of modes uh, when, through which it acts uh, to change the nature and the na of cancer cells and to change the natural history of cancer itself. And so there's the possibility that we do further clinical trials in a number of different areas of cancer and we're working on those at the moment. So having worked in Australia, US, Europe and China, um, what I'm doing with the race team is to not only look at Australian possibilities but also look at possibilities internationally where we can run clinical trials and we, where we can register our lead compound. Uh, the, the trial that we're running at the moment, uh, the sites are open in Australia, uh, but we're also working with sites in Hong Kong and South Korea to open sites there uh, to run the hypothesis uh, and run the clinical trial in Hong Kong and South Korea. Uh, we want to uh, enrol as many Australian patients but we do understand that the data that we collect needs to be applicable in multiple countries uh, which is why we're going to these other countries and in fact um, in other programs that we're talking about in future clinical trials we're looking forward to working with patients in the US uh, with patients in Europe and indeed with physicians there um, and the and the regulators as well. So there are over 50 biotech companies listed on the ASX, RACE being one of them. And um, I joined RACE because I believe it has one of the highest potential opportunities to make a real difference in patients' lives uh, and in, indeed in patients who have cancer. Uh, the team of people that I work with at RACE are exemplary. We're all dedicated to the one single vision of being at the heart of cancer care and truly changing the lives of patients with cancer. Uh, I love the energy that we have in the place um, and we, in the upcoming weeks month, and months, uh, we're looking forward to communicating with investors about not only the program that we have active at the moment um, in cardiovascular protection, but also other programs which we're looking forward to activating and running clinical trials in. And uh, I believe that race oncology 
will truly be a significant player in the global oncology treatment environment and that RC220 is just the beginning of our journey in working in the oncology space. Definitely coffee, definitely almond milk and definitely a shot of vanilla. I love uh, Mission Impossible, um, so I'll, yeah, I'm going fiction. I'd probably take the beach. I'm not a morning person. I'll leave it there.